everyone and welcome. This video is going to be a little bit all over the place and that is because I have to update you on my Ford Bronco. It has been since the time this video comes out about two months. I know it's been two months already since I picked up my brand new Ford Bronco that I ordered two and a half years ago. Let me just say I absolutely love it. Every time I drive it, every time I just see it in the parking lot somewhere, I am so happy. I get so many people stopping and asking me about it, saying that they love the color, that it's their dream vehicle. Same. <laughs> and I could not be happier. And I am especially happy since the fact that technically I haven't had to pay any money out of pocket except for the original $500 deposit I put down on the vehicle. And we're going to go into that now. So I'm going to share with you guys what has sold since the last video I did. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link that video up above. I'm going to scoot over here and we're going to start with this Eileen Fisher piece that you guys saw in my last What Sold video because I messed up. So this Eileen Fisher linen sweater was actually something that was gifted to me by Melissa. <laughs> when uh, she gifted me a bunch of bags of free stuff to sell for this. So Melissa, thank you, I'm so sorry. But uh, I actually forgot to put the Bronco on there as a note because this actually sold as soon as I listed it. So I didn't have time to put my notes in and everything. I put it into my spreadsheet for the Bronco, but I did not put it in like my eBay stuff like I should have. So this actually sold sold for $19 and of course the buyer paid for shipping and it was 100% free to me just like this uh, sweater. This is a Brooks Brothers sweater, another gift from Melissa. She does not like selling wool. She doesn't like the way it feels. So she gifted this to me and it also sold very quickly. It sold for my full asking price of $29.87. So Melissa, thank you again. Amazing. This BlizzCon item is something that I've actually had. I went to BlizzCon in 2009 and this is one of the items that I picked up there. It was either I, I bought this one. Yes, I bought this one. The other one was one that you got for free for going to BlizzCon. So I've had this forever. I've never done anything with it. I don't really play StarCraft. It's not a game that I'm really interested in. So this sold for $7.90 in the buyer pay for shipping. Super happy about that because again, this is something I've been looking around for, you know, 15 years now. So <laughs> happy it's moved on to a new home. This was something that was gifted to me by my lovely friend Victoria over there at Super Geek. She gifted me a big pile of nerdy shirts and like cosplay stuff and this sold this is from dota 2 sold this for my full asking price eleven dollars and 87 cents sold this miss moxie is now joining us and this is something that my mom gifted me uh, i'm guessing this is from my brother it worked at water country usa so this is from the y2k era or it was from when i worked for water country usa i don't know water country usa is a water park here in williamsburg virginia this sold for five dollars and the buyer paid for shipping i was perfectly happy with that and so after you take out the the shipping i know miss moxie after you take out the shipping and you take out the platform fees and any promotional fees if i promoted the listing or not the amount of money that was in the bronco fund after those sales is a hundred and sixty four dollars and thirty nine cents and because of the fact that my Bronco payment is almost $800, I was like, all right, I already have tons of stuff that my, my friends here on the internet and then in real life have gifted me, but I also kind of need to go sourcing a little bit. So I decided to take $100 out and I was like, well, what store have I haven't been to in a while that has normally netted me really good profit? The Restore. So I decided to take $100 out leaving me with $64.39 and head over to the ReStore at Newport News because I had not been there in a very long time. And I know, Moxie, I'm getting to the good part. My goodness, you need to chill out, baby girl. And so I was like, all right, I'm going to go there. I know not a lot of resellers here on YouTube talk about the Habitat for Humanity ReStore, and I know part of that is because from feedback from you guys is that the ReStores in my area seem to be special. <laughs> they they actually accept everything. I know some restores don't accept books. Some restores don't accept like clothing. Uh, my restores around here seem to just, just take everything. And so I went there and I have found at this restore, I have found uh, vintage 
restaurant wear that I've sold really well. I've found vintage jade eye I've sold really well. And another thing that I have found there consistently is books. And that's what happened. I was in a right place at the right time and I believe a bookstore went out of business. That is what it feels like to me. I spent all $100 and I got over 200 vintage and modern science fiction and fantasy books from that restore. And you guys haven't seen that because that has been over on my book channel. I have been unboxing one box at a time, showing it in my book haul, pulling out the ones I want to keep for myself, and then the rest of them have been going up on Whatnot. So I have done three science fiction shows so far on Whatnot, and they have turned out really well. I've had really great turnout. I've honestly uh, kept about 15% of the books I purchased from that big science fiction and fantasy book haul because a lot of them are really rare science fiction books that again, I'm so grateful to finally have. And from those three science fiction whatnot auctions, I have made a total of $371.48. So I turned, have turned so far $100 into $371.48. So on whatnot, if you don't know, uh, it, you have to sell a thousand items and then you'll get an immediate payout as soon as you ship the item. Because I have not sold a thousand items on whatnot, I have to wait until after the item is delivered and then two to three days as long as the, buy the buyer hasn't stated there's any problems, then that money goes into that account that you guys saw me show over here. So I still have a bunch of shipments from those three shows that haven't cleared yet. So I have actually made more money, but that amount will be in the next video. I also have the last science fiction show and haul that's going to come out this week. And then I have a fantasy haul as well. I've pulled all the fantasy books out and I'm going to do a separate fantasy and horror show for this book haul later. So I've done three. I've already made $371 from it. And I have two more plus I have a bunch of stuff that is waiting to get cleared from whatnot. So this has been amazing. If you guys want to watch the, me do the book hauls or come hang out with me on whatnot, I will leave a pinned comment down below uh, with both my book channel so you guys can watch the hauls if you want to see what I picked up and what I've kept. And then also my whatnot link as well if you are interested in hanging out with us and maybe buying some from yourself. But I am so happy. Like if you watch the haul videos, I cannot express to you how much I love books so much. I am so happy to have found that. Like I spent three hours in that store and I filled up two shopping carts. Again, it's over 200 books. And there was another reseller in there. I like had the first 30, 45 minutes to myself where it was just me in this like sea of books. <laughs> And I had it all to myself and then another resell, like a couple more resellers showed up. And at that point I was like grabbing as much as I possibly could. It was the best, one of the best hauls I've ever had in my life just because it was something that I personally love so very much. I think the only one that compared to is the giant vintage haul that I still have over 200 pieces I haven't listed yet <laughs> because it's clothing. <laughs> And it's not as easy to list and it's um, a lot more steps that are involved. So I am just absolutely excited. I've filled a bunch of holes in my personal book collection that I needed or wanted because of this haul. And not only that, because of the fact that I made $371, I can add that to the $64. And I made my, my Bronco payment. So if you are new here, I'm actually doing every two weeks, I make a $400 Bronco payment instead of the monthly $800 payment. Because what that does is it over time will save me an in interest. Uh, and then also it just seems a little bit more manageable to me. So I've already made my $400 Bronco payment because of this whatnot thing. So this is what's currently in my Bronco fund. So I just got to do it again. And again, I have two other whatnot shows. So I'm so excited about that. In addition to the whatnot books, I've also listed some stuff because again, Melissa gave me a bunch of free stuff 
to list the last time we went thrifting together. So I'm going to show you one of the bags of stuff that I listed from there. I'm also going to open up uh, two boxes of stuff that was sent to me. So because you guys have been sending me stuff too. For, like I said, this video is going to be everywhere because my life is like this. I, I, it's one of the things having ADHD, like it's whatever you're focused on right now and interested in and get the dopamine from. And the books have been it right now and I'm so happy, but also I've got so many other goodies and I need to show them to you. All right. Stuff from Melissa. This is amazing. This is a brand new with tags, but it's the Marshall's tag, not the guest tag. This is a guest dress. It is a, I think size eight, but I've noticed that guest size eight is more of a traditional size eight. Like they haven't done the vanity sizing. Like it's a, you know, the 1980 standardized size eight. So it's more of like a modern size four. <laughs> um, Guess is one of the few brands that has not done the vanity sizing and changed since the eighties, which is a, a positive and a, a negative thing for those of us that have gotten used to vanity sizing. But this is a Guess size eight, which is more of a modern size four. And it's perfect Barbie core dress. Uh, I did the measurements in it. So that way the person knows, and I'm guessing if somebody buys guests, they should know that they don't do the vanity sizing or modern vanity sizing. But yeah, really pretty, perfect for the Barbie movie that just came out. Y2K is still in. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and list these. These are a low rise pair of straight leg uh, Italian jeans. These are a legat. Legat jeans, these are, this is a size zero and these are made in Italy. So uh, I told her I would go ahead and give these a try because I have never tried this brand to sell this brand before, but because it was a, a Italian denim, even at a size zero, it's a straight leg, I would give it a go, see what happens. I also, I'm sorry, I'm just, and whenever I talk about books, I get like super geeked out. Can you tell how happy I am? I just, so happy. Um, this is a vintage polyester white shirt. This is a size six, but it's an oversized, like loose fit, very flowy, really nice little like shawl collar. I don't know. I just thought that this was really cute. Uh, also I've had really good luck selling vintage polyester tops, uh, with this big vintage buyout. So that's great. Changing gears a little bit. This is actually for my own personal stuff. Uh, this is a little rattan chair. I used to sit uh, the Aaron Beanie Baby in here, that little green one. Uh, that you, That's what used to sit in here, but it's now in a little plastic protector because I was that child. I was the Beanie Baby child. Um, and the reason why these are valuable now is because what people are doing is they're using them as little like succulent plant stands. And this one could fit like a two or three inch pot in here. I tried a four inch pot, but it, it wouldn't work. Um, but that's what people are doing with these now. They're using them as cute little boho plant stands and they're also still using them as doll stands but that's what I've seen most decor modern decor using these as so I went ahead and listed that because I wasn't using it anymore I don't do succulents I can keep other house plants alive I cannot keep ca cacti alive at all I don't know what it is every time I get get one I kill it uh, this is from my friend David uh, this is a vintage y2k Guinness hat it is a little, it has a patina, but it has a bottle opener here. Uh, my friend David used to exclusively drink Guinness whenever he could find it. He now has realized that there are better beers out there. Uh, and it now it kind of sticks to Avent Aventinas. But this Guinness hat, I washed it. It can now go up, or it is up listed now. This is actually something that I have to ship out. So... I can add more money to my Bronco fund, don't worry, I will give you a total at the end when this video is over what I what I have now. Um, so this actually is getting shipped out. I've talked about how I will pick up anything Irish linen. This was actually gifted to me by Melissa. This is Edward and it does say Irish linen here in its own separate tag. This is a blush pink size large. It's got a three quarter length sleeve and it absolutely has this beautiful embroidery de detail on the sleeve, which hopefully I'll show a picture over here. But this also has to go out now. So I'm gonna actually put that aside so I can ship that out when this video is over. And we'll put you right there. So that's sold. Um, hopefully I put this sold 
showing over here too because I don't remember off the top of my head and I put my phone down so we have Rome Runner vintage Rome Runner shirt this is another size large and this 100% silk bright gold and red floral there so that has gone up I probably should have listed that as soon as I got it because we're going out of that season but you know what we'll see Another wool piece. This is a wool blend from J. Crew, I believe. Yep, this is a size medium J. Crew. This is a shawl collar, men's shirt, sweater, sorry, men's sweater, long sleeve. I love this style on men. There is nothing sluttier a man can wear than a Henley and a cardigan. Just saying. Other than the Professor Shawl collar sweater. That is something that I just said out loud to the internet. All right, anyway, this is a Pendleton, a wonderful Pendleton piece. You know, you'd think I'd be sick of Pendleton blazers at this point, considering how many I still have to list, but beautiful blue one. It is a little bit too short in the arms for me, but overall a great piece. Still has the buttons down here for extra buttons in case you needed them but pretty great piece. So that's gonna go into the closet where all of my wool blazers go when I'm done listing them. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. Then we have Adelia's piece. She saves all the Delia's she finds for me because I've talked about before here on this channel that I have uh, a severe love love relationship with this brand because it was a brand I couldn't afford when it was popular and around. Uh, and I was that kid that circled everything in the Delia's catalog, hoping one day I'd have my own money and I could buy all the cool stuff in the Delia's catalog and, you know, have it. So now it doesn't really exist anymore. I think Dolls Kills owns the, the brand now. So there's that little Y2K piece. And then we have a basic Nike pink magenta. I think it's magenta pinky purpley shirt and a size something small size small pink Nike shirt she says she can't sell it. The, all that's from Melissa by the way and then these which I thought were really cool these are uh, Japanese dishes they're meant for sushi uh, but I have orange green yellow and blue and I'm just selling them as a set uh, she picked these up as well thinking that I would want to sell them because I do like selling these little vintage uh, melanine plates of all varieties, American, Japanese, whatever. I just think that these are universally really good uh, and I thought these were great. So I have listed those as well. After adding the whatnot monies to my total, after paying my $400 for my most recent payment, and then after adding the other sales that I'm gonna ship out today to the total. This is how much I have in my Bronco fund. Uh, again, I still have two shows <laughs> for the big book whatnot as well. So I'm, I'm super excited. I'm just so happy. But yeah, I'm just so grateful that everything is working out and things are going super well for me. Um, so now I'm gonna open up a couple of, now we're, to end this video, I'm gonna open up a uh, uh, bag in a box of, of different stuff that I can add to list and add to this Bronco fund from y'all. The first one is this bag. Uh, this is an eBay bag. This is from mine. I don't know what mine means, but I feel an, a note in here, so that'll be helpful. Oh, uh, this is from Denise. Aww. So this is from this bag is from Denise and it's a whole bunch of ties. She's like, these were in my death pile. I'm never going to list them. So I'm going to send them to, to you. I'm paraphrasing. Or your Bronco fund. She knows how much I love buying and selling ties because they're super easy to list. Alright, so this one is a vintage one. This is Brown and Church. This looks like the Georgia State Bulldog. I think that's what it looks like it looks like the Georgia State Bulldog so I will do some additional research on that but I'm pretty sure that's what that is oh this is pretty this is definitely silk this is Cellini 
This is made in the USA from Silk. Yay! Okay. That is a very funky tie. Totally would pick that up. Aw, this is cute. This would be great for a teacher. This is the Save the Children tie. This is, I think, 100% silk as well. Yep, made in the USA uh, for the year 2000. Holiday of Happiness, 4th of July tie. Let's see here. We have uh, Italian Rene Chagall. This feels like silk. We got a little Santa Claus there. And let's see here. What's this one? Palio. Another 100% silk tie. Nice basic. And I will go through these again with a little more care to make sure if this has got any stains I can treat them. This is looks like a train tie. Maybe it's just a traveling tie. Another, it looks like an Italian tie, 100% silk. It has these little like bags and then like a train as well, which I think is pretty cute. This looks like an 80s tie based on how wide it is. It's probably a more modern tie. This is The Amazing Spider-Man. It's a Marvel tie. <laughs> it's a clip on. <laughs> this I guess is for a little kid. Oh, that's adorable. It's a little kid clip-on tie. That's fucking hilarious. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that makes me laugh. All right. Now we have Zanetti. This is an Italian silk tie. This is also... This is made in the USA, another 80s tie. Yeah, a uh, Mickey Mouse tie. This also feels like silk. Am I correct? I am not correct. This is polyester. Wow. Got Mickey Unlimited. Mickey Mouse there. And then this is an Italian silk tie. Another 80s tie. Roberto Vellini. Another silk tie there. I might lot some of these up together. Like, if they're the same length and the same width, I will put them together um, because most of these are brands that I wouldn't necessarily pick up for myself but men need ties because people have gone back to work in an office which is crazy to me I never want to do that again all right we'll do one more and then we'll be done we'll wrap this up all right so Denise thank you again for all of the ties and now I have to figure out who this is from. Oh, this is from my dad. <laughs> All right. Never mind. This box is from my dad. Um, my dad uh, likes to buy and restore wheel horse tractors. They're little garden tractors from like the 70s and 80s. And my mom told me that this is for my Bronco fund from my mom and dad, mostly from my dad. And they're hubcaps. They're hubcaps for the wheel horse tractors. Like there you can see yourselves. It's all for, I've, I've never bought and sold tractor parts before or anything like this, but I will do so. They included uh, a current listing for me because that is how my mom and dad are. It's very cute. So mom and dad, thank you very much. I, it will take me a little while to list these, but I will definitely do so. So that is everything. I have some shipping to do. Again, this is where the Bronco Fund is at currently, and hopefully I will see you in a couple weeks for another update for the next payment. But thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye. Bye.